Garage is loud. Welcome to another tuning video. Tuning vlog, whatever it is. Just loaded on the new tune that Shinji Tuned just sent me, and we gotta do the same thing, 15 minute cruise, and a third gear wide open throttle pull from 3000 to red line, probably just go to 7000 RPM like we did on the last video because he said everything looked good. Okay, so we're gonna pull my keys out of here. Get this started. Back in its home. You guys are probably getting annoyed of seeing this by now, but we're just gonna do it all again. Reflash. Thanks, Kelson. That's me. We're gonna have to do the test mode connectors. Loading the tune. If you remember from the last video, I haven't put this stuff back together yet. It's just going to be tucking this. This is for my fuel sending unit, this wire. It's for the, uh, the relay to stop the fuel pump from priming. You know, it primes and then stops. That's what that relay, this is what this wire for the new fuel pump sending unit is supposed to do. But I don't like that. I like the fuel pump to prime all the time until the car's on and then I set my fuel pressure with the adjustable Tomei fuel pressure regulator. So that's how I like to do it so I don't have that wired in. Just like that, put it all back together and I'm sure the tune is done loading on the car and we probably gotta disconnect the test mode connectors now. Yep, ignition to off. Continue, disconnect test mode connectors. That's done. On position, reset procedure. Reset procedure is done. Off position for 15 seconds, and then we can warm the car up and go do our logs. Oh, I'm gonna shut the light off. Make sure the door's shut. Hop in the car so we can go for the drive. Oh. Um, get back to the day gauges, neutral, key on, it's probably about 15 seconds, gauges on, steering wheel down, Let's see if it goes rich again. A lot better. This is how I air the car up. There we go. Going to shut the garage and let the car warm up out here. And obviously none of you probably want to watch me drive around for 15 minutes again like I have in the past two videos. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to try out just putting it on a time lapse for 15 minutes and seeing how that does. We'll just give you guys that and then we'll actually film the full pull at third gear. Um, it should pro It's probably going to have more boost and more timing in it. So it's probably going to be a lot faster than it was in the last video. But I don't know. He didn't say that there was going to be more. So there could not be more for all I know. But we're going to find out. Zach. I'm actually meeting up with him. We're going to go to a car show 
And that was just pure coincidence that as I'm doing the pull, he pulls up next to me. I think that was like 16, 17, 18 PSI maybe. I don't know for sure. But I was trying to look at the gauge. We feedback, oh, this is a big one. Ah. We feedback knocked just barely. I don't know when, but I do have the same feedback knock that I did the other day on the last video. So, so we're gonna go to that. Uh, we're gonna go to that car show and just kind of keep vlogging after that. That's vlogs are done. I'll just email those to the tuner when I get home later tonight. But let's go to a car show. Ooh, a Datsun. Nice, nice. Oh, we got Ryan's RX-7s here. Always at car shows. Just doing a quick walk. Ooh. can't see that <laughs> that's cool how they do this now so you can have whatever number you want it's the LED numbers that's cool <laughs> huh. yeah this thing is like actually That's what? That's not raised from where it was before. My side skirt was on the ground. Come fit a foot under. Come fit anything under. I do remember that. Is it okay? It's you raise it like maybe a quarter to a half inch. I put my purse is like halfway. The, how'd you get this side lower than that side? This was the problem it side. It just hasn't settled yet. It's. I can barely get my foot under there. Cause this side I didn't really touch. That was the side I mostly touched. This was the side that was rubbing though. Yeah, but I, this side I already didn't have a shock in it. I had to take that shock out. So you're running with no shocks. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little bounce. Oh gosh. The whole static bounce. You're gonna die back there. I hope oh, you know that. Yeah. smash your finger in that. <laughs> no, that mark was there already. Like, Why are you guys... Tires. You're like, no, my car is curving my tires. <laughs> well, it keeps going after you're done. So on which side was this? Is this the, the side, side that you rubbed through? Rubbing. Oh my gosh. That's what no shocks will do to you. Hey, uh, you haven't rubbed through yet. Just throw it back yeah, on. Yeah, but there's some... 
Just throw it back on. It's got some fluid coming out of it. It's probably blown. I'm just gonna buy another one. It's like 80 bucks. Well, then it's still gonna rub. Once I fix rubbing. <laughs> at least when you're test fitting wheels, at least put a shock in there to make sure it's not gonna hit. Oh, yeah. Your car is full of freaking tools. I love it. washing cars real quick I'm gonna go through the uh, auto wash only because it has dryers I don't have any towels with me there's a cars and coffee in the morning and car is dirty thanks Zach yep. all right we're gonna see how well this wash did he said it would do good he said to get all that dirt rain off Wow I am impressed. Normally auto washes, touchless, don't get all of the dirt rain that we get in Utah, but my car is actually very clean. Did you leave it in there? Yeah. You just got out and left it in there running. That's fine. It did get all the dirt off. Yeah. I'm impressed. I've never had a touchless wash get all the dirt yeah. off a car. This, is this one's, yeah, this is good. I love how you just leave the car on. So pretty, so pretty.